Hey guys, it's Christina with Christina's 200. So, I swear I'm not eating donuts and falling off the wagon. <laughs> I've just been so super busy. We um, have moved from the one store to here. We're still working on the grand opening. At the same time, I have nine softball teams that I'm doing their team gear orders for. And currently right now it's just me and two of my daughter and my one employee working because I've lost most of the people because they're students and they're gone for COVID. So, yes, we're making it through and I've just been so busy and so tired. But I promise, no donuts. I have not fallen off the wagon. I am still ketoing on. And amongst all of that, yesterday I got to send my son off to the Navy. So he is my third sailor. He is in quarantine right now because for boot camp they go to quarantine for two weeks. So he is in quarantine right now for two weeks and then um, he'll go to processing. So I won't hear from him for three weeks. So hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be a little stressed but I've been really stressed the last week getting him ready to go. Anyway, weights. So it hasn't been that great because of all of the stress. <laughs> um, I will say that there was a point that everything was just so crazy in the air. My son did something stupid that could have cost, like, I don't know, where we wouldn't have been able to even get everything finished and done in time. And... I was just at a loss and I'm telling you I wanted to go and binge. I just wanted to grab some ice cream and some peanuts and oh <laughs> a burger with the bun. I don't know why it just is, seems better if you can throw a bun on it. I don't know. Anyway, needless to say I did not. I did not cheat. The worst thing that I've done, I made sure to stay away from the Halo Top because I know that I can have some, but I won't just eat some, especially when I'm feeling snacky and stressed. And stress is my biggest trigger that makes me throw all of my progress away. Um, you know, I'm a single mom and I own a business and stress. I think I always say I'm going to get caught up. I'm going to get caught up. And as I'm getting caught up, the other day I know that I only had like two of the tickets. I have my tickets and stuff. I only had two that I had to do. I am now up to like 30 tickets. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, I did not cheat. Oh, the worst thing that I did is I did drink a Diet Pepsi. We were at, um, where was it? My son was at Subway at the airport ready to leave. And, well, we had to sit there for like two hours. And I have my water, but I was so watered and meowed out. And we were there, and so I was like, screw it. Diet Pepsi. <laughs> so that's the worst thing that I've done. So I haven't really done anything bad. Um, so, wait. Uh, I know last Monday, um, this is right now week one. So week, week one, two, week three's weigh-in. So week three, my weigh-in was 356.2. So that is three pounds from last week. So I am down three pounds from last week, and I am down 18.8 .8 pounds since I started three weeks ago. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I'm still losing. It is a lot slower than I am used to, than the last two times I've done this to myself. Anyway. I'm losing. You know, I've done a whole lot of video chatting this last week, um, and I have just felt like crap. Like, my chin, 
when you've had your chin gone and then it comes back, you're just like, go away. And I just don't feel as... Uh, anyway, our, my grand reopening is July 1st, and that's when I'll do my complete unveiling. And so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and hopefully then I can relax a little bit. <laughs> it feels really weird at home. I When I first moved here, it was me, my twins that were 18, had just graduated high school, my son who was 16, and then my uh, son who was, I think at the time he was 13, and then my son, or my daughter that was um, 15, or 12, she's a year younger. So, me and my five kids moved here five years ago, and I tell you what, I've just been flicking them out. <laughs> the twins left for boot camp. They've now been in the Navy for almost five years. Uh, my other son, he is in Oklahoma. He went to the Army. It didn't quite work out for him, so he's in Oklahoma, and now I have my Son, other son who just turned 18 that is now in the Navy boot camp and my 17 year old daughter who is six months pregnant with her son so now I'm just down to me and her until the baby comes and that's in September and my oldest one of the oldest girls the twins is moving home because she's gonna partner with me at the store so that I can have some help <laughs> Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. I'm a little delusional. Lack of sleep. I have so much work to get done. My daughter wants to go to the movie tonight, so I need to make sure I have sunflower seeds. I think I'm not liking the sunflower seeds for my teeth, and of course with COVID, sunflower seeds are not very hygienic. But, you know... It's the only thing I can snack on. And I don't just snack. I don't even have any around me. Oh. This bag's almost empty. But yeah. Anyway, guys. Thanks for keeping up with this with me. And I have not fallen off. I did not go and dive into a cake. I promise. <laughs> I'm here. If you're new here, these are the struggles of my weight loss. All real. No uh, filters or lying about anything. I have gone up and down and up and down and it's all my fault. It is not Keto's fault. It is my fault because I don't have the willpower sometimes. And sadly, it's not because I don't like the food. I love keto food. So, if you're new here, subscribe, come along on this journey with me, we're going to lose some weight. <laughs> I've been down, I've lost 75 pounds before, so I will talk to you guys later, and thanks, bye.